Douglas Cooling and Heating. Serving the Birmingham area for 38 years. 988-3706. That's Douglas. I'm James Spann. This is the Weather Extreme video, the afternoon edition for Thursday, the 20th of January. Uh, tonight, expecting a little light rain, a little light snow in spots, much colder tomorrow, and more active weather next week. Let's get in there and talk about it. First off, the uh, Skycam shots. First off, there's a look at the uh, Gadsden Skycam. Again today, cloudy with areas of fog. Haven't seen a lot of sunshine lately, but a reasonable chance we'll see some tomorrow, but it will be much colder. Uh, there's the Jasper Sky Cam in Walker County, pretty much the same deal, mostly cloudy and way down south on the Alabama Gulf Coast. The sky is overcast down there as well. That's the view coming from the Phoenix All Suites, looking back off to the west. There's the uh, water vapor satellite shot. There's your trough developing nicely to the west. Pretty cold in Canada. We're still watching numbers up there as cold as 23 below zero Fahrenheit. And that uh, noses across the Canadian border. But again, the really core of that uh, air is going to stay north of us. No doubt it will be much colder late tonight and tomorrow, but not as cold as it could be. Here's our watch warning map, and you can see just a big old uh, uh, mess of advisories all the way from Arkansas and Missouri up to uh, Boston. Got a few pockets of winter storm warnings in through there. Uh, as heavy as snow, likely near the Ohio River. That's where some three to five inch amounts are possible. Uh, Cincinnati and Louisville, places like that. Here's the overall QPF expected precipitation for the next five days, valid through Tuesday morning of next week. So this takes into account anything tonight and what we get on Monday. And this is suggesting rainfall amounts of about to a quarter to one half inch. Heavier totals near the Gulf Coast. Let's jump right into it. Let's look at modeling here. This is the. Um, well, first off, temperatures, let's do that. Uh, there's a look at our numbers, and you can see it's as cold as 37 up in the shoals, where they could see a, uh, maybe a, the, the ground getting white with snow this evening. Uh, down here, mostly mid to upper 40s, not as warm as forecast. Birmingham, 48, Tuscaloosa, 48, Anniston, 45. And there's the radar. And uh, by golly, a lot of that is falling in the form of snow, uh, basically from uh, Memphis and Nashville north and west, uh, or along and north of Interstate 40. That's snow. To the south, it's rain. And uh, that rain-snow line will be easing into uh, northwest Alabama later this evening. We'll look at modeling on this. We'll go to the RPM. This is valid at 7 o'clock tonight. And uh, it's got that rain snow line, uh, the, the blue colors, that's the snow, the green, that's the rain, pretty much around the Tennessee Valley from near Russellville back over to Scottsboro. And understand this will be light, nothing heavy. We'll go to 11 o'clock tonight. The RPM suggesting some light snow from uh, basically just north of Birmingham up to Huntsville, then back up toward uh, Fort Payne and Gadsden. And then by 3 a.m. after midnight tonight, early tomorrow, it's pretty much all gone. Maybe a few snow flurries. And that's about it. There's the accumulated snow graphic coming off the RPM. And then like we have seen here in uh, recent runs, it's got the chance of a dusting of snow basically for the Tennessee Valley, north of a line from near uh, Hamilton to Vinemont to Scottsboro. Uh, the better snows up north in Tennessee, Arkansas, and points north. And we'll maintain that in the forecast. In other words, no change. Uh, the chance of some light rain this evening, possibly changing to light snow before ending. No major accumulation issues. Down this way, maybe a little dusting in spots. And we'll go to tomorrow. That's the look at 500 millibars coming off the 12Z GFS trough over the east. Down below that, we do turn considerably colder. Looks like the sun breaks out in the high around 40. Uh, so at least the sun will kind of offset the cold. Uh, but I think in this case, we are going to see a sunny day. The cloud should move out pretty quickly. Uh, there's a look at Saturday as we start the weekend. Cold morning. The uh, uh, models are showing low 20s, and we'll stay with that in the forecast. High Saturday should be in the mid-40s with a sunny sky. And Sunday, uh, we stay dry. The GFS is showing a high of 54, a little warmer on Sunday. Now, Monday of next week, that's going to be an interesting little feature to watch. And again, we've got... Uh, a trough back in the southwest, bit of energy through Missouri, and down below that, the uh, surface chart Monday showing some light rain over Alabama. And, yeah, we noticed the critical thickness line near Huntsville, uh, but it still looks relatively light that the models have trended drier with this thing on Monday and faster. So the rain might begin maybe Monday morning. And uh, based on this run, looks like it would be mostly rain, a cold rain, 
And on Tuesday, it's gone. Well, check the European. Uh, this is valid uh, Monday evening at uh, 6 o'clock. And oh, now, come on, that looks like maybe a flirt with snow or freezing rain issues for the Tennessee Valley of North Alabama. Uh, that 540 line is uh, down to Gadsden, really U.S. 278, Hamilton, Cullman, Gadsden. So our friends up there might have to look at some wintry precipitation, but the uh, Canadian is warmer. It's got that critical thickness line up on the uh, Alabama-Tennessee state line with just mostly rain here. And we note the uh, European and the Canadian are wetter than the GFS. Still not enough evidence really at this point to uh, suggest a uh, big winter weather threat. We'll mention rain. We'll go back to the GFS uh, at midday Monday. And again, note the surface high is uh, over upstate New York. With some evidence of cold air damming, you can see kind of coming down the mountains there. This looks a little better for a wedge. And that's really the main issue. Will there be a shallow layer of cold air near the surface coming in from the northeast that we don't see in modeling here? And could that set the stage for some freezing rain Monday or Monday night? We'll just have to wait and see. Again, uh, the confidence at this point suggesting we just mentioned some uh, light rain. And we'll fine-tune that as we get closer. Uh, Tuesday, it's uh, all gone. Wednesday, there comes the next wave down there in the Gulf. And Thursday of next week, strong uh, vorticity rotating through the state, and that shows a surface low near Jacksonville. And again, some evidence of maybe a few snowflakes Thursday of next week. I mean, almost every wave is flirting with wintry weather here. Very close call. And then the following day, Friday the 28th, just cold and maybe a few flurries. Three more days into the month, 31st of January. Look at the trough. Woo, boy. It's cold. And on the... 3rd of February. Look at that trough axis west of the state, surface low coming out of the Gulf, another winter weather threat maybe. I'm telling you guys, every wave we get here, there's almost we're, we're flirting with snow or ice. And you figure if these things keep coming at us at some point we'll have a problem here. And on the 5th it's just uh, cold and dry. So again, it uh, looks like some very interesting weather to watch here in coming weeks. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening. ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening and God bless.